M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the TRD Radio H3. On the left, we've got the Hacking Facebook page, and there's firmware just here that you can add to your radio, it allows extra functionality. Check out that page. But someone's asked me, how can I add my original firmware back in? So I'm going to quickly do it. First thing is on the right side here, go to the TID Radio download page. The link will be in the description. And when you click download, you'll get those files. Now it will ask you to log in when you select download, but that's fine, just log in. It's free. You hit download and you'll get this zip program at the top. So download folder, click open. You'll see within there, you've got your programming software, which is very nice. Here, TDH3 unlock version. You do get the option to download the GMRS and the HAM version, but I've just got the unlock version here. So, firmware, see the yellow folder, firmware, and you do have the programming software for memory channels as well. But anyway, there's the bin file we want, and the, the program that's going to load the firmware is the H3 IAP. So, double click that, click yes. And then just go next, next, next. And you'll end up with this small little shortcut. I'm just cancelling mine because we've already done it. And I've got my shortcut down here and it's called the TDH3 IAP. So if we click that, this is what it looks like. So it's nice and easy. The cable that I'm using is, if you go to Amazon, they do a all-in-one cable and I really like that cable. It's only about £11. It does most, you know, many radios, many budget radios. And it's just convenient. I've got always got it hanging up there. So one end goes into the radio that you can see just here where my finger is. One end, end into your PC, then right click these windows squares. Just here, right click, device manager and get your port number. Hopefully the drivers you've got are fine. Not very often I've had to download drivers. USB reader COM2 is mine. Close that down. So now open the IAP program. It looks like this yellow window here. Select your COM, which is two as found it. Then open the file that you want. I click open file and go to my downloads. I've got the modified one there that you can see at the top there. So I've got, yeah, it says Nick Mod H3, which I might chuck that in at the end just to show you because it adds a signal meter. But we're putting the original one on, which is the one labeled H3240702. So double click that and it puts it into our program. The next thing is you've got to turn off your radio. Now we click start, PT, hold your finger on the PTT and turn it on. Now don't worry if it doesn't work, it doesn't actually matter because you can just do it again. Click start, off, PTT, turn on, 